Hallelujah. Thank you very much, Pastor J.T. Kalejaye, the Intercontinental Evangelist. God bless you, sir. Praise the name of the Lord. We have come to a very exciting segment of today's um, service. We've come to testimonies. Praise God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So I'm going to read the online testimonies first a few of the online testimonies first, and then we'll take the live testifiers. Sister Taiwo Olushola from Nigeria in the month of November 2023 was on the way to camp for the National Mass Choir rehearsals. She was kidnapped and every valuable on her was taken. The kidnappers called her husband to ask for ransom and he promptly told them that he and his wife were pastors of RCCG on the way to camp. And he advised them that they better go and drop his wife in camp. This confused them and God intervened. A few hours later, they dropped her on Badagri Road with 500 Naira and zoomed off. <laughs> to the glory of God, she was united with her, reunited with her family that night. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The next online testimony is uh, from Brother Adeniyi Bade Kale from Nigeria. A family friend's father was very ill, diagnosed with prostrate blockage and scheduled for surgery. They took a photo of the handkerchief prayed on by our father in the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboye, and sent it to the family through WhatsApp <laughs> and asked him to lay it on his father hallelujah to the glory of God there was no need for him to have an operation and he could do all he needed to do by himself praise the name of the Lord sister Adeyinka hallelujah from the United Kingdom at the special Holy Ghost service in 2022 when Daddy Gio requested God to bless the church with 1,100 babies, she claimed it, though she was not yet married. She got married in February 2023 and was told that due to multiple fibroids, she may never get pregnant. But God confirmed his word. Not only did she get pregnant, even though doctors said delivery would be very risky for her, and she may need to be transfused with blood. She delivered a healthy baby girl without any need for blood transfusion. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Sister Happiness Etienam from Nigeria was confirmed HIV positive in 2020. Her husband was also confirmed positive. They wrote a letter to Daddy Gio and he responded to them, assuring them that God would heal them. They went for several checkups and tests, but it remained positive. She enrolled at the RCCG Ebute Meta Clinic for antenatal care and was referred to run some tests. Praise God. On January 2nd, 2024, the results came out. Everything is fine. And the two HIV results came out negative. Who did it? Jesus. Oh my God. Wow. Sister Abiola Awofadeju from the United Kingdom had been experiencing a sharp pain in her left leg for a while anytime she lay down to sleep. But during the Thursday deliverance service, at the 2023 Holy Ghost Congress service, the Lord healed her. Praise the name of the Lord. And the final online testimony for this evening comes from Sister Moturayo from Canada, who had been experiencing discomfort on the left side of her stomach. And after a scan, doctor said there was nothing amiss, but the discomfort continued. She took the handkerchief prayed on by our daddy in the Lord during the 2023 Holy Ghost service and placed it on her stomach. And by the time she woke up, by the time she woke up, 
every discomfort had disappeared. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. We're now going to go to the in-person testifiers. Praise God. Praise, praise the Lord. My name is A.P. Wale Adenino from Open 16, Region 32. Uh, in December 2022, during the Congress, I that the Lord prayed on an handkerchief for us, and he asked us to pray very hard prayer uh, on that particular day. I raised four prayer points, and to the glory of God, they were all answered. The first one was, I, it's over 13 years I got promoted in my place of work. In March 2023, I was promoted. Secondly, that December, I had uh, a nagging headache that lasted for over three months that I was on medication. I could not even minister in the prayer room during the Congress. During that uh, prayer, the headache disappeared. One of my junior brothers has been having liver problem for about five years, and he went to UCH Ibadan, where he was asked to do some tests. And from that test, we showed it to some doctors. The first question the doctor asked me is, are you sure this person is still alive? The second doctor asked me, this person should be on blood transmission. But to the glory of God, after that prayer in December, he went back for his appointment the following Monday of the Congress, and it was declared fit that nothing was absolutely wrong with him, that he just needed to take some few supplements. And uh, the, the, the last one is one of my junior brother also, about 50 years. In fact, he has lost hope of marriage. And just last uh, year, the year that just went, 2023, in fact, he's expecting a baby by now. To the glory of God, I thank God Almighty for what he did. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. My name is Abidemi Winjobi. Four years ago, I woke up in the morning, Sunday morning, to prepare to church. So I noticed that blood was coming out from my breast. I went to the pharmacy when I came back from church. They gave me antibiotics. The next day on Monday morning, I went to the hospital to complain. I did so many tests, mammogram, biopsy. From that biopsy, they removed the lump. They said this, that is where the blood was coming out. So since then, from there, I, I came to the open, um, open heaven. I went to a butemeta. I was just going to church to pray over the thing. So lastly, last week, last year, January, Holy Ghost first service like this. So I was in this camp. When Daddy said, there was, uh, Daddy said, someone is here, that uh, when you go back again, what they saw before, they will not see it again. So I wasted time because of the fear. So November, just this month, I went back to do the test. When I did the test, I, I brought the test to the camp because my pastor said I should bring it to the camp because Friday was the Holy Ghost Congress. So I brought it to the camp. He said I should all be thanking God. So on Tuesday, I went back to the hospital. When I went back to the hospital, I gave them the result. They looked at the result. The doctor was just looking at it and said, yes, yes, yes. He said, ah. The result shows that you are okay, that you are fine, that there is no trace of cancer again. So that was why I say, I will come back and give glory to God. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Praise Master Jesus. Year 2022, after getting married, I had three miscarriages. Three miscarriages. Just when I thought all hope was lost, Daddy Gio appeared into the vision of my mom. It was like a revelation. Suddenly, I got pregnant. Then, this is my bundle of joy. Oluwa Shemi Lori. Oluwa Dara Simi. Who did it? Praise the Lord. I am that woman that was blind for two years. My both eyes went completely blind. I couldn't see, I couldn't do anything. I was indoors. The challenge started since 2011. And all through the years till last year, precisely, 
during the youth convention that the Lord, the Lord visited me with an instruction. And then by November, during the Holy Ghost service, when I was here, um, and through, the Lord passed through Daddy, and, and by the mercy of God today, my eyes, I can make use of it. I had the opportunity to be prayed for by Daddy on three occasions from that 2021 and 2022. It was as if the miracle wasn't going to come through. But I thank God that today I came to the church by myself. I didn't have to be led by anyone. I give him all the glory. The doctors told me to go back home and pray because there is nothing that they could do. But I worship those God that reverse the reversible. Can somebody shout hallelujah? My name is Dikin Olan Rewaju Oyeneye from Lagos Province, 80, Region 31. It happened on Sunday morning during the service. One of our elders were in the church. We are in the Sunday school. And all of a sudden, what I heard from the Sunday school teacher was a scream. Mama is going, Mama is going. Before we could carry Mama, Mama has gone right in the church. And pandemonium broke up in the church. Mama was right on the floor. The children were crying, and as a young pastor, I do not know what to do. But all of a sudden, I remember the anointing we brought from the camp on the pulpit, and I took the anointing oil, I poured it in Mama's mouth, and Mama came back to life. Who did it? Jesus. Uh, my name is Extra Daleno Mulushe I lecture at uh, Lagos State University. Uh, in 2022, I came for Holy Communion. After the Holy Communion, I went back to school. On Monday morning, when we uh, were doing our prayer meeting, uh, I, could, I just discovered that I couldn't talk again. Um, I went to bed. Uh, that night, they rushed me to the hospital. I lost my right hand, my left hand. Uh, my right leg as well. Um, for about two days, I was just helpless in the hospital. So they took me from that hospital, they took me to another hospital. So on Wednesday, I was there, but uh, to the glory of God, on Friday, the doctor said I was better, that I could go home. But she, uh, he told my wife that um, I will not be able to talk very well again that 70 maybe if, if there is a miracle i'll be able to talk maybe 70 percent and uh, some part of my uh, body will not be able to function very well i just said no that's not my portion because i will not uh based on the the kind of job i do if i don't talk very well i'll be helpless so i just left the hospital on saturday uh to the glory of god uh what the doctor said that I, i'm going to uh spend six months at home Within one month, I recovered fully. I was able to lecture. Even I was able to talk to a large, uh, large uh, class without using microphone. And uh, God healed me perfectly. Glory be to God. My name is Dupe Olaumaye. I got married 2006 and I had my first child 2007. I had second one 2010, but unfortunately I lost that one. Since then, I have been asking God for more baby. So I went to mountains for prayer. I came to Holy Ghost service, open heaven for prayer. I prayed and fasted, but it seems as this miracle will not come. So I dreamt uh, Baba, our uh, Baba Deboye. In that dream, we were in old auditorium praying. So we were, we were all women that we were praying that day. And Baba called me. Baba won very white clothes and sat on a very white chair. He called me that, what do I want? I told him that, Baba, I want, I want a child. He asked me to move closer to him. And he asked me to kneel down. I knelt down. I, he made sure that my stomach touched his stomach. And he asked me to, after the prayer, he asked me to go back. And I continue my prayer. 
So one of the Holy Ghost that I came, he prophesied that, Baba prophesied that day that you are here. It seemed as if uh, they said you will not have a baby. But uh, they, he prophesied that we, you, are, you are coming back with triplets. I hold on to that uh, prophecy that day. And I prayed over it for a year. So today I tell God, I got pregnant 2021. Uh, uh, September 2021 and I had my children tw uh, June 2022 this, the, the, these are the wonderful triplet that God gave to me two boys and a girl this one is Oluwa Darasimi Gabriel this one is Oluwa Damilare Rafa and the girl is Oluwa Domenino Sarah who did it? praise the name of the Lord Praise God. Let's not get too familiar with these testimonies. Barrenness, seeming barrenness reversed. Paralysis reversed. Blindness reversed. Cancer healed. Pregnancy after multiple miscarriages. Who did it? Oh my God. Wow. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Awesome, 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 awesome.